What's he doing? What's he doing? Maka's down here trying to say hi to you. Except she's down here. Do you say hi up here? Come up here. Come up here. Oh, that's me, girl. You say hi? Joy. What am I looking at? Oh, in your tail. Okay, can you lay down? Lay down. All right. Okay. So, guys, I'm coming at you today with a haul. Um, I just did my Vitacost haul, and this one is the um, Ulta haul. It was 20% off, so I got a few things from Ulta. And um, also Cherry Culture had a 20% off sale, so I got some things from them. So I'm going to put them together because um, the Ulta haul... I uh, didn't get everything I wanted to get. I actually, they were out of a bunch of stuff that I had um, wanted to get. Uh, I wanted to try some new, some of the new NYX products and um, and some of some other ones I hadn't tried and they were out of stock of a whole bunch of things. So unfortunately, um, I couldn't get any of those. And I'm just like, camera's a little bit crooked. Is that better? Anyway, so first we'll start with um, Ulta and then I've got the Cherry Culture box right here too. So I'm just going to pull from them. They're going to be totally random. Um... But we'll just get started. So, I got some brushes. I got the Eco Tools Face and Body Sculpting Brush, um, and uh, this is I've seen this a lot on YouTube. At first, I had wanted this for um, like contouring, but um, it's definitely a body brush. It's way bigger than it's going to be way too big for like contouring. So I'll probably use it for like body bronzer and um, all over powder, but it's, oh, it's definitely really soft. You just want to like, oh, that's awesome. Okay. So it's really soft. Um, I want to get a, a, what is it? Like the hour, is it the hourglass one that has like a, a contouring brush that's kind of like this, but it's a lot smaller. Um, if you know, um, leave it down below because I definitely wanted to find that, that brush. It's kind of like this, but it's smaller and it's for contouring. And I think a couple people have one. I also got the Eco Tools, um, this, this kit, the Fresh and Flawless kit. It's a five piece set. And a lot of people have complained about these being, um, smaller than they thought they would be. And, um, yeah, they are pretty small. They're travel brushes, so they're smaller than your hand. Um, I wanted some smaller brushes for my desk. So these will be, these will be good for that. Um, I knew they were kind of smaller and I love the, um, love the ferrule. Is that what it's called on these? Um, so yeah, there's five brushes in here. <clears throat> I also got the Eco Tools custom coverage buffing brush. That one. And there was I wanted to get the duo ended brushes, the double ended brushes, but they were out of stock, so I couldn't get those. Um, I was going to get some more, some real technique, real techniques brushes, but um, didn't yet. I will. I'm hoping to get those soon, but I did get the real techniques sponge beauty blender, and I'm really excited to try this. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so. Um, leave a comment down below if you have tried this and you like it or don't like it, or what your opinion is on that one. Um, only a couple more things. I got my favorite socks, which are aloe socks. Um, I love these. They're soft, fuzzy socks. I like to wear them in the evening when, um, I am just hanging around the house. And they're so plush and soft. And what I like is that there's no grippies on the bottom. Those little grippy things on the bottom of socks, like, annoy the crap out of me. Um, a lot of people like them, I think, but, um... I don't. So I love this. This is this is the Earth Therapeutics brand, and I had got some other ones at Walmart too. Um, they're supposed to have aloe in them, which I don't know. They're super soft. I'm not necessarily sure how much they hydrate your feet, but I put on a, like a good foot cream and then put these on and then keep them on and makes your feet nice and soft. Especially living in Hawaii when we wear slippers or flip flops all year round, it helps keep those heels a little bit soft. So. Uh, I was really sad because there was a bunch of lip products that I really wanted to get, but they were out of stock of a whole bunch of stuff, so I picked up only two. I got the NYX Butter Gloss, and um, this is in Creme Brulee. I am, like, so behind on the bandwagon on this one, um, but it's because I don't know of any stores in Hawaii that carry this. We have some NYX stuff, but I've not seen the Butter Glosses, um, and so I'm sure you guys have all seen these. This is, like, old, but here's the swatch to that. I really gotta work on my lighting. And then I wanted to try their matte lipsticks, and I think we do have the matte lipsticks, but um, I got the matte lipstick in Perfect Red. 
and that is definitely an intense red. So here's the swatch for that. Just one swipe. Wow, that's pretty pigment. And then, okay, two swipes, it's like solid. Okay, so I got, that is it for my um, Ulta haul, and then they, they sent some samples, it looks like. I didn't even look at them yet, but there's some samples in there. Um, and then, so for Cherry Culture, I got more stuff, because they actually had more things in stock, but unfortunately, they didn't have um, the newest NYX stuff. Like, they didn't have the butter lipsticks, which is what I really wanted to try. Um, but I did get to get a few other things that I'd been wanting to try anyway, so... First things first, I got this little NYX um, makeup bag, and I got it because I like makeup bags that you can see through so you can find your stuff, and I thought that this would be, you know, just a nice little throw it in my car kind of makeup bag for, or for beach stuff or whatever. So that's that. Um, I got this. I took the stuff out of the packaging so you guys wouldn't have to sit here and listen to me opening all this stuff, but it was really nicely packaged and came and everything was safe and all of that. Um, I got this, um, the NYX Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek palette. I don't think this is new. Do you guys know? I don't think this is new. I think this is just, I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you, um, what this looks like. It's pretty cool. So it has a huge, nice mirror here, so I'll try not to blind you. And then it has all of these really nice neutral shades. And I don't have any, like, specifically neutral palette. Like, I don't have, like, the any of the Naked palettes. I didn't get any of those before. Urban Decay is not cruelty-free anymore. Um, I don't have, like, the Lorac Pro palette. I don't have the Chocolate Bar palette. I don't have any, like, m totally neutral palette. Um, and this has, like, a nice combination of both mattes and shimmers. So that's that. And then it also has a little um, pull-out drawer. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Is it pull-out drawer? Okay, so you just go push and then it slides back. And it has all of these um, blushes, highlighters, and I, I suppose that this could maybe be a bronzer. Um, it looks really washed out on camera but not for me, it's way too light. So these are just basically um, blushes and highlighters in here. So you have some really beautiful um, eyeshadows and some some blushes. You um, I also got this little teeny tiny palette called the Nude on Nude Natural Look Kit. Sorry, super glossy. And this little guy is just a teeny tiny one. So it's like, it's like fits in your hand. It's pretty, it's pretty small. I thought it was a little bit bigger than this, but I'm actually kind of glad that it's so small because it's just another neutral palette. Here's a little thing that's protector thing. And look at that. It's got like the, it's got a great size mirror. It's got some nice neutrals. It's got both shimmer and matte. Um, it's got this beautiful champagne color, which I love champagne colored um, eyeshadow. And, um, and then underneath it has a little drawer. And I believe that these are lip glosses. I think I thought that these were um, cream blushes, but they're lip glosses. Which, I don't really like lip glosses in palettes very much, but um, it does have like a little spot for uh, these little tools that I probably will never use. But it'd be good to keep in my car, I think. I think I've said this before, but I'm a face painter as well. Um, I teach music Monday through Friday, and then I do birthday parties on the weekends, and um, so I face paint, and I saw a couple of these Mayron colors were on clearance, plus 20% off, so they were a really good deal, and so these are actually like aqua makeups, like face paint, um, and uh, this is the color Foxy, so it's like a, like a burnt orange brown color which I don't have anything like this in my kit, so I thought it would be great for doing animals. And then I got this uh, Wild Orchid. It's a beautiful, dark, dark purple. It's really hard um, as a face painter. I have three or four different purples from different brands, and they're the least pigmented of all my face paints. So, um, yeah, so I thought I'd try the Mayron ones. And then I also got a Mayron Cheek Powder. And holy cow, I swatched this yesterday. It's so pigmented. Let me show you guys. It's almost like chalky pigmented, but I did use just my finger to swatch it. So, um, so I mean, look at this. It's like solid. And then it just, that's like the lightest touch, like the lightest swipe. And then, oh, so it's super, super, I, I mean, it's like so dark. 
gonna have to use a really 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 light hand with that and it's very orange I, well that's what I got though the peach color it's very orange so um, I want to see how how that does um, one thing I didn't know was uh, regarding some of the face painting brands that I use uh, like Wolf Brothers and Paradise and Mehron and Silly Farm um, Tag and trying to think of all the brands I use for face painting I don't really know the cruelty free status on some of those. Um, the those are all the different kinds of face paints that are in my kit, and um, so if anybody has a, any idea on that, I would really love to know because um, obviously I'd like to support cruelty free um, f face paint if I could, um, if there is any. Um, but I have to have professional quality um, face paint because that's the kind of work that I do. So I don't know if anybody has an opinion on that or and any advice, I would love to hear. So or if they know if any of those are cruelty free. So, um, yeah, so let's move on. I don't even know what to go for first. Here, let's go for these things that I don't have to swatch. So I got two Milani um, Easy Brows in Tawny. What are these in ta Tawny, right? Oh, not Tawny. These are a natural taupe. Taupe, not Tawny. Okay, anyway, these are the the brow pencils that I really, really like. I use them because they match my hair color really well. Um, and I like the spoolie on one end kind of a deal and they're water resistant. So that's the Milani Easy Brow. I'm gonna get through everything that's not a lip color because then we'll be able to swatch the lip colors. I got the um, Jordana Easy Liner in black. I got, I, this is what I was really looking forward to, the NYX Eyebrow Shaper, the wax. Um, I wanted to try this to see if it helps, like, to prolong the, I have some, like, eyebrow powder that doesn't last, it doesn't have, like, a wax or anything, so I thought I'd try this, the wax with that. I got a couple nail colors. I really wanted to try a high-speed fast-dry by Milani because I really like the Wet n' Wild fast-dries. Uh, I'm so impatient when it comes to letting my nails dry. And this is in Wild Rapid Orchid. It looks black right here on camera, but it's actually like a super dark plummy purple. So that's that. And then I got a couple other nail things. That, these are from LA Colors, and they're called Flash Pop. And I've seen something similar to this from... Was it Revlon? I don't know. From a brand that I don't buy anymore. And uh, so I got the LA Colors Flash Pop. This one is in Flashing Lights. So it's like a black on one end and then like a like a multi-dimensional glitter on the other end like con looks like confetti. And then I got the um this one which is like a neon orangey pink and this one's in the color Mad Duo and this has like a like a hot pink sort of fuchsia glitter on the other end. And then I got this one that's called it's called so postmodern. It's got a neon blue on one end, and then the glitter on the other side is like green and blue glitter. See that? I've never tried nail polish from LA Colors, but like I said in my 2013 favorites, I I like their um, glitter eyeliners. So, um, yep, yeah, that's that. I got the Jor Jordana Sweet and Smooth Nourishing Lip Balm. This one's in Tropical Punch. And um, this reminded me a lot of the Maybelline Baby Lips, like the packaging, which I can't, I don't buy Maybelline anymore, and I loved Baby Lips, some of, the, some of them, especially like the clear one. And so this smells so delicious, like I want to eat it. And uh, let's see if I can find a spot to swatch, because it's just pretty clear. I don't think you'll even be able to see it. It's like, see, it doesn't, so, so it's just a good balm. It has kind of like a little bit of a sort of peach, but barely visible. It won't even show up on my lips because they're too pigmented. So that's the Jordana Sweet and Smooth Nourishing Lip Balm in Tropical Punch. Um, cream blushes. I have the NYX Cream Blush in like the red. And I use that with a really light hand and I like that. Um, so I got the one in Rouge Cream. Okay, so it's called Rouge Cream because it's the cream blush. And the color is Boho Chic. So sorry about that. Okay. It's like a rosy pink. And then this one is called Tickled. I love the name. And holy cow, is this one like a crazy color. If you can see when I turn it in the light, it's got like this duochrome effect almost. And then I think the rest of these are all lip products. I got two Milani lipsticks. I've never tried the um, 
the lipsticks from Milani and I really wanted this orange one. I don't know when I'll ever wear this. Maybe, you know, summertime. Um, it's called Sweet Nectar and it is orange, let me tell you. So look at this. This is a super orange. So that was the perfect red. See how orange that is? So orange. So let's see if I look good in orange. I have no idea. I kind of like orange blushes, but don't really ever wear orange lips. And then I got the, this one in Sangria. Kind of reminded me, just from the, the, the tip, the end, of the Fer Ferguson Crest from Wet, Wet n Wild from Fergie's line. Um, so that's that. Let's do two. It doesn't look as purple as this, which I wanted it to be more purple because I have color like that. But it's still really pretty. It seems more, um, f more fuchsia than purple, and I wanted it to be a little bit more... A little darker like that one but okay and then so then I got some NYX lip stuff different all I wanted to try stuff from like all their different lip like kinds of lip products so I got two lip balms I got the lip or lip butter lip balms and these are in the colors in the colors panna cotta and biscotti Panna cotta and biscotti. All the color lip balms. So these ones are the color lip balms. I got the colors tack. So tack is like, so let's put these over here by these. Tack, definitely more pigmented, um, like a rosy. Same color as my lips almost. I have pretty dark, I have pretty pigmented lips, so I can't wear two light of colors. Oh, and this one is called Arigato. I got this one because I loved the name. It kind of reminds me of that blush, that blush tickled. Um, so that's Arigato. It's going to be pretty too. So those are the color lip balms. And then uh, I, had, I got... Butter gloss, another butter gloss. I had gotten that other one from um, Ulta, and um, that was in Creme Brulee. This one's in Maple Blondie, and I, I thought that it would be not quite as pink. Um, let's see, where's my other swatch? So this is the Creme Brulee swatch, and here is the Maple Blondie swatch. So this might be a little too pink for me. I'm not a huge fan of, like, pinky pink, super pink, but um, I, was, I didn't think the swatch look like this on the website but whatever and then I got the soft matte lip cream I got two of them I think yeah I got the soft matte lip creams I got the one in doo -doo -doo, Monte Carlo and then swatch for this let's swatch this next to this um other red and see yeah so that is kind of cool kind of excited to try that that's that swatch right there. Okay, and then I got also Istanbul, and this is kind of like a kind of pinky one. Let's see how it looks over by these ones. Let's move hair type down a little bit. So that one's a little bit more of a rosy pink. See, I like more of a rosy pink than like a bright pink like that. So, all right. Anyway, so those are the two um, soft matte lip creams that I got. And then I wanted to try the Aqua Lux, so I got the Aqua Lux lipstick in Enchanting, and so Enchanting looks like this. And then let's watch it. Let's see it right here. My arm's gonna look so great after this. Oh, that's pretty. I thought it smelled like vanilla or something. Um. Yeah, that's kind of got this nice, like, luxy effects. I don't know if it's coming up on camera very well. Let's see how shiny it is. Really pretty. Um, yeah, it's kind of a neutral. As far as the color, it's kind of like a nudie color, but it's very shiny and shimmery. I also got this matte rouge or matte lipstick. This Oh, I have, so I got two matte lipsticks, apparently. Um, the reason I got this one is because it's an Audrey, and now I'm looking at how pink it is, and I'm like, but my name is Aubrey, so I kind of thought that was cool. And so that one is, like, way not my color. But maybe I'll have to start rocking some blue pinks. What do you think? That one's very, very, very pink. And last but not least, 
is the NYX Glam Lip Gloss. These are Aqua Lux, and I don't know if you can see that duochrome in there, but it's so pretty. It's like a purple duochrome, like this sort of shimmers are purpley blue, and then it's fuchsia, um, and good, no, no smell. And then the one of those like flat doe foot applicators. So this is... like that. I don't know if you can see that. I bet you this looks really good over that. Oh yeah. That's really pretty. So I'm really excited to try that one. And that is an empty box. And I just want to show you two more bonus items because I just got these. I ordered these as well, but these were from eBay. So you can't get these anymore unless you can find them on eBay. But I was really excited about this one. This is called the Too Faced Glamour to Go. This is the pixie edition or fairy edition. Sorry. Fairy edition of this Glamour to Go. And it, I love it. It's another little small one that I thought I could take with me. And I just love this palette. I love the colors. It's got some shimmers and some mattes great variety of colors. This has got the film thing on it. Let me throw that in here so you can see those. Super pigmented. So that's that. And that other part is, yay, blush, bronzer, which might be too light for me, and lip gloss. So I love, love, love this. I had, I got this on eBay and um, sometimes when I do parties, I do theme parties. So like I'll go as a fairy or um, a butterfly or whatever. And um, like I just did a fairy party a, a couple weeks ago and so much fun. So I, I thought that was a perfect palette just to have because of what I do. So, and then last but not least, I had to pick this up. It was limited edition. So I missed it when it was out because I couldn't buy it over the holidays um, when it probably was cheaper. Um, so I got it on eBay. It's not, so it's like not in perfect condition. It had like a little scratch in one of the things, but I don't care. Um, and so it's the few of my favorite things palette from Too Faced. And I just had to show you that. I'm not going to go into it. There's lots. I could do um, a full review on it if you want, but I just um, used it today to do this eye look. And I'm loving it. So that's everything. This is like super long haul. I hope that you get to watch the whole thing because um, it's very long. But I uh, will see you soon. Talk to you later. I'm going to go wash all these swatches off and go teach my piano students. Aloha.